Hi, I'm Gareth from Clever Touch and I work for the education team and in this video I'm going to be talking about the way connected devices interact with our Clever Touch screens. Now we can use CleverShare which is an app where up to 50 devices can connect wirelessly to our screens. Here's the access to CleverShare here and we are doing some new videos about CleverShare so please check those out because we're not going to be talking about wirelessly connected devices, we're going to be talking about devices that are wired in such as my laptop here. So goodbye iPad. Now you have a number of ways of being able to wire into a clever touch screen. You can even do the old VGA cable way and HDMI cables but I'm connected today with a USB-C cable connected here at the front. That's one cable for audio, visual and touch, data transfer and it's keeping my laptop charged as well. But how do I access that feed? Now automatically the screen will come on once you've plugged in that wire but I've moved back to the uh, lux mode of my screen here at the moment. So if I want to jump back to my laptop there's a couple of ways I can do it. I can either sweep from the bottom here and pull up the ports menu and then tap on the correct symbol. We can see with a blue dot other devices that are connected to the screen or on the floating pencil that we always have I can also bring up the ports menu this way as well. So we give you lots of flexibility. So then I just need to jump to my laptop and instantly we're straight away there. So I'm going to start my PowerPoint presentation from this current slide. So we're in slideshow mode and as you can hopefully see on my laptop I have presenter mode on there so I can run the session from my desk if I want to or I can be up at the clever touch screen going through my slides just using touch so I can just swipe to go through the various pages there. But what's also fascinating and really useful is that I can pick up the clever touch pen and just come straight to the screen and I activate the inking layer so I can start writing on my presentation. But then if I go back to my hand, I can carry on swiping through the screen. It doesn't carry on as a pen. If I want to go back to the previous page where I added some annotations, those annotations will appear as well. But also if I tap on the screen, I can change the type of tool that I'm using. So in here, I can go for a highlighter instead. So I can use that and that will work uh, with the pen also. And when I'm done with the annotations that I'm making on the screen, all I have to do is I can tap and bring up those tools again and I can start to erase things if I want to or I can just exit the inking layer and I can choose do I want to keep the annotations for now. doesn't mean that, that I have to save them with the PowerPoint or I can just discard them if I want to go back to the kind of totally refreshed uh, PowerPoint presentation. Now as I'm looking at this PowerPoint I suddenly might want to do things back in the looks mode of our screens maybe use a whiteboard so I could be making notes as, at the same time as going through. Now there's a, a new feature on both our Impact Max 2s and on our look screens that will help you do that with your source material coming from your connected device. So first of all let's jump back to the looks mode so I can do that by sweeping up and tapping on looks there or I could have just tapped the home icon in the floating toolbar and we have our home icon down here. So I'm going to open up instead this app here called PIP. We also have a way of accessing that from our floating toolbar um, and we have the little PIP symbol right there. PIP stands for picture in picture and what this will do is that this will bring in our connected wired in sources into a window that we can move around the screen. At the moment we're connecting to a PC that's plugged into the back of this look screen. So I want to search for my laptop, here it is. So now we're going to jump to my laptop screen. I can also, as this connects in, I can also turn on touch to that device as well so that I can go into presentation mode in there um, as well. Now I'm going to move this so it's in one half of the screen and I can also open up my whiteboard app and maybe we can have this in half of the screen as well. Let's connect that in there. 
So now you can see I can have my PowerPoint at the, at, uh, the right hand side of the screen and at the same time start making lots of notes all about what we're learning about on there. So with picture in picture, your connected devices can be on screen at the same time as other apps that you're opening on our CleverTouch screens. So really nice flexibility with your connected devices on our CleverTouch Impact Max. And